sore, ma sore, so sore, saba. That is not that where so I expected cool. it to go. Oh. Or there, oh. honestly. Alright, so this is TVXQ. Neither of you have reacted to this group before, but basically they used to be a group of five guys and they were like one of the main groups to make K-pop popular in Japan and China. Anyways, three of them left actually to start under a different company because they were really fed up with SM. But these two continued on and now this is their 2014 release. It came in a repackaged album celebrating their 10 years being together. Awesome possum. A possumly awesome. Here we go. One, two, seven. Ooh, that, that bass. Does this hit play violin? Perfect. You nailed it. I feel like it's gonna be really loud in a second. I'm loving these, like, random sounds, though. Ooh, guy liner. We would call this contextual composition. Because you're using sounds given in context to enhance the music. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, oh, it's going all in. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, right. Cinematic. Cinematics. Watch the real song actually be nothing like this. That was so good. God damn it. They're so good. What is happening? <laughs> that was cool. Oh shit! That was cool. Ah. That is not that where so I expected cool. it to go. Oh. Or there, oh. honestly. Sorry, sorry. Whoa! Oh. Okay. So the actual song was different. But wait, wait, where did the ghost come from? Hang on. What? What? Okay. What? 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 What is happening? Are they using like weird talk box, like recorder thing? Yeah. I'm so confused right now. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna say. This is smooth. I'm sensing some talent up in here. I want to go to this casino that they have. Yeah, I know. These girls just keep popping out of nowhere. Like, oh, I'm there. Sounds like my dream. Mm. This is great. I love this. Me too. They're all hiding behind the table. <laughs> Fine. It's almost jazz. I thought it was like a lot, kind of a lot at first, but man, her like roll back, R&B funk. Ah! That very sax though. Oh god. Oh yeah. I live for playing licks like that. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Kevin mostly talk about those chords, but. I'm still kind of hooked. That was pretty. That was yeah, easily the least expected thing they could have done to begin this song. And like the vibe is still going. Like this like electronic jazz is so good. One thing I like how at least in the beginning the dance moves were like almost like staccato because like with the groove uh, yeah, going on, kind of on. like hard hitting. Yeah. Those were like the dance was staccato. Dude, oh no! Just wow. like it looked like I don't know. <laughs> Wow, she, wow, where'd she come from? Yeah, how was she behind him and we did not see her? It's like they established tonic and then they do whatever the hell they want over it. Yeah, pretty much, I mean. I mean, within an R&B yeah. jazz yeah, within that language. Idiom. Yeah. But yeah, within the idiom. Oh, oh, be careful with that trumpet baby. Yeah, please. Oh, where are they coming from? Probably the same place the valves are. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's no valves, so they come out of nowhere. Because like you have like the electronic and you have like the raw instrumental, so it's like this organic fusion techno. I don't know sound. This is not what I was expecting. Also, the dance moves really reflect this well because they're all so like tight. And, there's, and it's not floppy at all. It's same with the group. It's just very like compact and together, but like laid back still. It's like. Has the whole video really been one? Have, have I just been noticing how long the take is? Um, Man, we gotta. We gotta no, there, there, no, there was a, a 
cut, I'm pretty sure. There, 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 there were a few cuts, but holy crap. Yeah. It's really long. I kind of wish they like changed the like color of their voice a little bit. Like they're like full on singing the whole time. There isn't a lot of like Whoa. <laughs> oh no, the last cut was when he threw the card. Oh right. And then it's been one take ever since. Wow. Oh, more drum the solo. Whoa. Oh yeah, that was also a real sense. Oh, song that's the word. <laughs> this this song is grungy. Also, I love that tenor sax solo in the background. <laughs> that was tasty. Got those blues licks, baby. Oh my God, what are these voicings? They're just so cool sounding. I mean, the vocal line's like super intense and difficult and stuff like that, but like, song's not like super arranged. Yeah, but those are really high. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like, that. I know. I like how this song is kind of like, it's not too fast. Like, it's a good pace. It's like a good walking pace song. But gosh, the way they're singing when they're not doing that harmony part is very different. And I like it, but then it also brings it yeah. when they come back for the harmony. Yeah. Can is this filmed all in one take? Yeah. That's nuts. Mm. Oh. That's mixed so well. It is I mixed. I listen to that one riff all the time for a while. Man. Wow. Oh man. Wow. I like that was a really cool collaboration between many different mediums of art. As a group that has, that started back when K-pop was at its like, at least Earth. in terms of our understanding of it as Americans, at its conception, in terms of breaking on, a, on an international scale or a global scale, if they're four, if they're forerunners of that, if they are the people who were first involved with that sort of like early thousands K-pop sound, and have now come into these more modern sounds, they have aged incredibly well. They maintain a lot of what seems to me to be essential K-pop staples, but they have been able to adapt to modern trends and sounds and tropes and aren't off-putting about it all the time. There are things that I didn't quite like, but I feel like as a group that has a lot of history in this market, they're, they're killing the game. What do you think of that overall musically? Extremely interesting. Again, I don't feel justice um, actually trying to analyze it just because I don't know that much about jazz theory, but um, it sounded really tight. Like Jared said, the hits were really awesome. I liked the vocals in the beginning. It was very like barbershop quartet -y, but like hip barbershop. Um, and I love the use of the horns and the berry, and it was really cool. Yeah, no, that was pretty awesome. And I think what's really cool in the vocals, like I think I got this right in the sense that it's, I think they're using, they're using major sevens. Instead of using like what's typically like a flat seven, which tends to be jazzy, but like you can also be jazzy in the sense of raising that because it's not traditional and you get this cool major-ish like texture. I think that's how they achieve this really cool sound. It was like a really typical kind of like the R&B funk idiom with, you know, just yeah. staying on tonic. But, bum, 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 right? That, but that those vocal harmonizations, I've never heard that in a K-pop song. Maybe it's because I don't listen to enough R&B, but for me, this is like... This is like oh, the yeah. best of K-pop level. Yeah. Four, five, one. It's really simple stuff. It is very like, simple. It no, is four, three, five, one. It's yeah. three chords. It's one, 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 four, five, one. Yeah. yeah. It's three chords. It's a bunch of sweet horn licks. Mm -hmm. You know, throw some blue scale stuff in there. But you compare um, this with like that one twelve bar blues song that we listened. Yeah, exactly. To. And you know, it's really interesting. What makes that like so frustrating and mm -hmm. this so good? Mm -hmm. I think is it's important to note like this progression is meant to be sung over. Yeah. Uh, and it works for like, you know, R&B tunes. And in addition, right, the progression isn't as repetitive. Exactly. It, it's got a lot more chordal simple. Well, no, they both just have like three chords. Yeah. But the thing is, you know, with this the 12 one's got bar, all the extensions. Yeah, yeah. And the 12 bar, it's like one, 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 four, four, one, one, five, four, one, one. This yeah. is one, four, five. Cut that, cut that, that guys. <laughs> yeah, it's like one, four, five, one, four, five, one, four, five, one, yeah. four, five. And in addition, like the uh, R&B as a, as a, um, Genre is not as heavily reliant on improvisation, you know, melodic improvisation as but jazz. You know, yeah, you know, you you throw a couple of like hot licks in there, you know, like the those trumpet and, and sax solos that those like one bar solos, those are good. Great. Yeah. It's one of the 
better ones, I think, that I've listened to. I really like them. It was super bluesy, super jazzy. Yeah, a lot of jazz. Like Michael Bublé meets Take Five meets, meets um, <laughs> Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. Yeah, there was definitely yeah. that one, that one section in particular, that one verse in particular, where yeah. he was doing the runs down, and I was like, okay, Bruno Mars, okay. Yeah. Um, James Dean. Wait, what's that's his name, right? James Dean. Who does Bruno Mars dance like? I think it's James Dean. Or I'm an idiot. There was also the. You're right. The one guy had his voice more edited, but they also put some overdrive on it, which I kind of liked. Which kind of made it sound like the other guy. So for like blending purposes, it was probably really cool. smart. Yeah. I really like, especially the the grit that they got out of the trumpet sound. You could really tell that it was legit and legit grit. But also the grit in their voices, like it all just really matched. It's kind of all one texture, though. Yeah. Right. Which I think kind of worked. Yeah. But that's like one thing that maybe they could have done more with. There wasn't a lot of variation. It's very wah 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 wah. It's a lot of good wah 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 wah. But I wanted like whoa. There wasn't even like really a bridge. Yeah, there was. It was all. I think you could have used like a. It was like smooth peanut butter. There were there were no peanuts. Like it was not crunchy peanut butter. This was smooth jiff. It was good jiff. Yeah. So. So it's a love song, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I'd say like 90% of K-pop songs are love songs. But that's kind of weird. How <laughs> I've been getting that vibe. <laughs> it's kind of weird how that how they use that style in a love song. Yeah. Like it wasn't cheese. It wasn't a cheesy love song at all. It was like different. It was country. I don't know. It just laid back. Kind of had that. Like I was mentioning before. Like I don't know. Like hip hop. Gospel vibe where they'll have like a lot of horns and they'll be a larger band. I don't know I mean the line and or uh, like the vocal line was just ridiculous and they were able to sing really mm -hmm. high But as far as like nothing necessarily really stood out to me in the song it just kind of sounded the same since mm -hmm. it was just, Everybody was always yeah. playing. I wouldn't have guessed that it was a love song though. I thought it was really good Like I said the like electric jazz vibe thing is not something that's easily done or pulled mm -hmm. off in the music world And we've seen it done some interesting ways already before, but I thought that they that they did a really a really cool like thing with it. If it was like a little more bass, yeah, I actually didn't think about it until you said it. But now that I that's that's not very memorable in this last one. I could have used it somewhere too. Yeah, because I mean that's really like a huge characteristic of that sound. Mm -hmm. And the bass part was pretty cool. It was moving a good bit, but if it was a little more like dirtier, I guess. Like if they had like a real like hip bass player playing with them. Not that like it was playing with them wasn't hip, but like, you know, it seemed like he was just kind of like, you know, I'm just gonna lay down these notes and just let the boys be the boys. But like, you know, I think it would have really added a lot if you were just like, yeah. like something like that, you know? Yeah, that would be cool. How do you feel the whole music video, the dancing and the cinematography matched with the song? Extremely well. It was all like, really classy. It was it wasn't sloppy at all Every dance was like completely in sync and it matched the beat which honestly like is essential to music like that I mean come ah. on man it's casino stuff well, I mean R&B isn't necessarily connected to it's true. Casinos or funk or anything like that isn't really necessarily connected to casinos, but it but sounds classy I think the only thing about the music that that fits the visual is just the way that the, the camera transitions. They all line up with the the, the form, mm. right? Really well. You know, every like every time it, the 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 bars turn around, there's a transition. Ah, uh, mm. there we go. You know, mm. they're focusing on that, and they're gonna move now here. Now, oh, see? okay. So, so I mean that makes and I've, no, and I've noticed that with like you know a lot of the music videos we've been listening to the ones that really fit have all the cuts like right on the form. I thought that it really supported the visuals. You know, um, I thought that their choreography really lined up with like the music. So like it was like hits like physically it like represented it really well. And then also you know it's jazz music, so you get some of those classic like jazz dancing moves that you like people like to see. Yeah, I, while watching them dance, I was thinking they spent a lot of time in front of the mirror in the studio. Oh right? yeah, they had to work really hard on that. It looked super good though, so. 
Hello everyone, welcome to our channel if you're new. I'm the channel runner and producer of this series. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you're curious to see what else we're going to react to in the future, go ahead and check the description for a bunch of links that I have to playlists and schedules. Also, please check our Patreon if you want to support us. Patrons get access to unedited, full-length reaction videos, access to exclusive content, as well as early access to all the videos posted on here, and more. So thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.